Hey guys, Siren speaking and welcome to my channel. In today's speed build, I'm gonna be building a small residential with some modern features and of course a lot of the items I use are from the newly launched season expansion pack. I am very excited about this pack and I know a lot of you guys are as well. For the longest time, some of you have used mods until now, and now it's finally here. I haven't tested it completely out yet, but I do know one thing, so let me enlighten you all. Um, you see, despite that I chose summer, it was raining a lot, and there were a huge thunderstorm and lightning, which didn't work quite well when I was gonna start recording my video tour. So my boyfriend was googling around and found out that the only way to change the weather is by using the weather device thingy. Most of you probably know that already, but I just wanted to share that I have learned something about the gameplay. So this is a proud moment for me. So I am currently building on a 30 by 20 lot. This house have only one floor, but there will be no less than four bedrooms, two bathrooms and one toilet and a laundry room. The floor plan is very well thought of to fit all of these rooms and of course there is a living room and uh, a nice kitchen there as well. It's far from my best work, but I was most eager to take a look at the items than the build itself. I could have done a review, but there are so many good reviews out there. And I just didn't get the time because of work, but I might do it so with the next release. I am using the new wallpapers, I am not very fond of this to be honest. But I decided to use it anyway because I wanted to have as much as possible from the season pack in my first build in a while. But that's not completely true because I have all these projects going on but the editing is just taking forever. But this is my first upload in a while though. You would probably think that um, I we're gonna upload a lot nicer build since it's so long since the last one. But another build is coming up soon, which is a lot better than this one. And uh, there is a spoiler alert. It's um, not a residential lot this time. I think I've only made residential lots until now. So it's about time to do something else. So I am starting out in the kitchen, which I so often do. Um, it's my favorite room to decorate, which makes sense since I am selling kitchen and kitchen supplies. As you may see, I have divided the kitchen and the living room with the half wall. I wanted the room to pre pretty separately, but I didn't want to suffocate the small place with huge wall. And I also have... Uh, well, the entire house are basically the same colors on the walls and the floors. I am using white and uh, some light brown on the bathrooms. Since I wanted to have some spicy colors, I needed rooms to be pretty plain and simple. I really like the carpet that I'm using. I am actually using it a few times in this build in different colors. What I like most about the season expansion pack is that the items are very detailed and there are a lot of color options so I think it's well worth the money. I think all the sims packs are fairly expensive but I like this one. This one is actually um, my favorite or at least one of my favorite. I don't have all the packs. I don't feel that's necessary. I might get them in the future, but for now it's like, meh, like the bowling stuff pack. That is so random. Why bowling? You know what? Why not golf or fishing or football or anything else? I really don't get why um, or where the bowling actually came from. My friend and I, um, who I travel throughout Asia with, he used to compete in bowling actually. He's really good, so whenever we are out bowling, he's always winning. I suck in bowling. I am actually 
better um, using my non-dominant hand. It's sad really, but it's actually true. But still, I do have a lot of fun. Um, my friend, he's really cool being with. Uh, he's like super positive, completely opposite than me. I am pretty gloomy, moody and introverted. That's at least until you know me. And uh, we were actually talking about that today um, with my co-worker. Because we were talking about when I first started out and he said that I was so sweet and innocent walking around in the store and didn't know anything, not talking to anyone either and was pretty shy. But now I am totally dominating the place, like I make fun of myself all the time and I make fun of other people all the time. If you don't know me, you probably gonna be very offended. So I only do that with people that I've been around for some time. And today I had my best day so far. So I am pretty happy about that. It was a good day at work, selling a lot of kitchen supplies. It was fun, fun to work today. It's quite fun working every day because um, my co-workers are really, really great. So okay guys, um, back to my build again, I'm really easy to throw off talking about all kinds of stuff, um, sorry about that, not much I can do honestly, but I am gonna try to be better, I am gonna try to be better. But so far, um, I have done the kitchen and the living room and I am starting out with the bedrooms, each bedroom will have like um, a color theme. So basically I am sticking to primarily one color. I don't know why I usually do that. It's kind of in my head that the entire room needed to be matching together. I don't have that at home but for some reason I have it in my head that in the sims world everything should match together. I think that's a bad habit. I think that makes me uh, less of a builder actually i feel that i get it stuck but i don't know if you guys are agree or not but at least i am using some colors not only black and white on the furniture this time so one step forward um i just have to say uh, that the new beds with all the pillows I, I love it they are so gorgeous and i am gonna use them a lot in my builds in the future and uh, the picture and painting I am placing around are also quite beautiful. Lots of different paintings on it. Currently working on my master bedroom. I think it is the master bedroom. It got the best view of the parking lot and it also um, is the biggest room as well. There will be uh, three grown-up bedrooms uh, meant for grown-ups or adults using double-sized beds here or whatever you want to call it and the fourth bathroom will be for two kids or teenagers where there are two single sized beds. I have not placed any toddler beds or items around this build but as I've said so many times before you can of course redecorate it as much as you want. I just have to say that I also use the glass roof here. I don't know if you saw that in the beginning of the video, but I just fell instantly in love with the new roofs. I have wanted this for so long and I honestly had my doubt that we were ever gonna get that. But we did so, so that's just really amazing and I'll know that it's not only me that have been wanting this for a while. What else can I talk about with my build? Um, yes, I also gonna have a nice little area outside where you can eat and barbecue, have a small pool party. I am also placing this kids pool and some kids stuff. It might be a little odd since I don't have any kids items inside the house, but I just wanted some new items outside. And the adults can also use this swing thingy. I don't remember the correct word for it at the moment, but you probably know what I mean if you are gonna watch the rest of the video. But I am cutting it short today. Continue to watch guys and the video tour is just around the corner. I hope you enjoyed this video. This will can be downloaded from the Sims 4 gallery and I have posted a link to the build in the description below. You can also check out my other builds as well. 
my origin ID is Tyrant Sims with the undercore and remember to press the like button if you like this video. You can also leave me a comment below to let me know what you liked and what you didn't like so I can continue and improve my builds and videos in the future. Follow me on my Twitter, YouTube and Twitch account for more uploads. My next build will be uploaded in a few days, hopefully, and you don't want to miss that out. Also, a huge thank to all my followers and subscribers. I really appreciate it. So until next time, guys, take care and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.